Hello, this is Kedulitics and welcome to today's session. In today's brief video, we are going to take a look at how we can use the R Studio to be able to do basic descriptive statistics. So if you watch this video right to the very end, you will be in position to know how to run mean, median, standard deviation, percentiles using the R Studio or in R. So we encourage you to stay on and to watch this video right to the very end. And if you're a new person watching this video for the first time, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel, turn on the post notification bell so you are always notified whenever a new video is released. And if you're a returning subscriber, we encourage you to keep on coming to learn from us as we introduce new packages and enlighten ourselves on new statistical methods. We encourage you to like and share the video as well. So as many as possible can benefit from the videos that we come up with. Now, we have loaded our data sets. So these are the dummy data sets that will help us to be able to carry out what we intend to do. Now, the first thing you have to do after loading your data set and intending to run um, descriptive statistics is first of all, you want to install a package we call FBasic. So to do that, you can just come to Tools here, and then you click on Install Packages, and then here you type F Basic. Good. So once you type this, then you click on Install, and then if you have good internet connectivity, you realize that within a few minutes or seconds, you have your package installed so here it's telling us package f basic successfully unpacked and md5 sums checked so we are successful in downloading or installing our package and so we are kind of positioned to be able to carry out our descriptive statistics now the next thing you want to do is to attach whatever data set you are using so as to be able to run the data on it, sorry, the statistics on it. So the name of our data, as it is clearly stated here, is what? Data set. Can I say something, something? So yes, type data set. Data set. And then it will just appear over there. So you just tap on it. And then you click on enter. So now we have attached that data. And so we can be able to run descriptive stacks or any other statistics we want to do. So um, we so we can just type summary. And then we want to do a summary stats on the age. So we just type OK. So by this code, it gives us the minimum age, the first quarter, the median, the mean, the third quarter, and then the maximum age. So with this line of code, some summary into bracket H or the variable of interest, it's able to give us the minimum, the first quarter, the median, the mean, the, th the third quarter, and then the maximum. Now, how about another method to be able to get your mean? You can equally use this code mean into brackets, the variable you are interested in running the mean the identifying the mean which is age in this case and then you type na okay so let's just run this and see what happens good so it gives us our mean age so now you can compare this to this so this is to two decimal places but this is to up to five decimal places that is why you can have you are having a lot of this but when you approximate this to two decimal places you see that this is equal to this equally you can just type median H and then you are good to go. So this is another way to just go about it. How about standard deviation? You can just type standard deviation. And then it gives you the standard deviation for what you are doing. Now, if you also intend to get to see some percentiles, so you can just type this and then type groups. equal to
equal to sorry this is supposed to be quanti so probes yes so probes equal to before it wasn't quanta that was why the probes wasn't coming and now we fixed it so c into brackets we are interested in it giving us the 10 percenter also give us the 20th percenter also give us 25th percenter also give us the 50th percenter also give us 75th percenter 75th percenter and also give us 95th percenter Yes, you realize that there's a decimal point in front of them. That is to mean it is uh, out of divided by 100. So if we multiply this by 100, that gives us 10, 20, 25 in that order. So then let's click on OK and see what it gives us. So here we have the 10th percentile, the 20th, 25th, 50th. Now the 50th percentile is basically the median. Uh, the 75th percentile is also the third quarter, and the 25th percentile is also the first quarter. So you can see that with this line of code, you can also be able to identify some of these uh, descriptive stats that were inputted or obtained using the summary statistic. Now, there's another method that you can also use to be able to come out with a mean if you are not comfortable with using any of these methods. So to do that, you can just type mean and then into bracket. Now, the name of your data set. So data set, so this is the data set's name. Then you need a dollar sign and then the variable you want to calculate this one on. So you just type okay and it realize that it gives us the mean. You can also do same for median data set. Then the dollar sign and then each. Now let's see. So basically, this is how you can be able to do some of these basic descriptive statistics using the R Studio or in R. If you find this content useful, we encourage you to subscribe to the channel. Then on the post notification bell, so you are always notified whenever a new video is released. And until we meet again on our next one, where we try to see how we can be able to test for normality of our continuous variable. This is Scabilitics, and it's a bye.